Hi, this is Madison with Portrait Displays. In this video, we are going to show you how to calibrate Dolby Vision on a 2019 LG C9 OLED TV with built-in pattern generator using Calman Home for LG color calibration software. Our technical evangelist, Tyler Pruitt, will take you through a step-by-step -step calibration process. You may be asking yourself, what is a pattern generator? Well, there are three things you need to calibrate a TV. Calibration software, like Calman Home for LG, a meter to read the color patterns on the screen, like a C6 HDR2000, and a pattern generator to put the color patterns on the screen. The patterns that are generated are just rectangles sent to the screen that have a specific color value. During the calibration process, Calman tells the pattern generator to send a specific color to the screen. The meter reads the color and reports back to Calman. Calman knows the value of the color that was sent and compares it with the value read by the meter. Then Calman makes adjustments to the TV so the two values match. So the 2019 LG TV provides one of the three things needed for calibration. The pattern generator is built in. So all you need is the software and the meter. Before we get going, you need to set up the TV to use the built-in pattern generator. The TV needs to have a solid gray background during the entire calibration process. A one hour video of nothing but solid gray has been created for you to use. Plenty of time to do a calibration. To download that video, use your computer, go to portrait.com, and under the support heading, click on the resource center. Look for the how-to article on the LG 2019 internal pattern generator. Right-click on the link to download the video file onto your desktop. Copy the video file onto a USB drive, also known as a flash drive or USB stick. Plug the USB drive into the TV. You will use the TV's media player app to play the file during calibration. Now, our technical evangelist, Tyler Pruitt, will walk you through the tutorial. Tyler will be using Portrait Display's Calman Home for LG color calibration software. He will also be using Portrait C6 HDR 2000 colorimeter to read the colors on the screen. Take it away, Tyler. Hey, this is Tyler, technical evangelist for Portrait Displays. So what we're going to be doing in this video is calibrating Dolby Vision on the 2019 LG C9 OLED television. So the first thing I'm going to do is open our LG AutoCal workflow. Change this to Dolby Vision. Then go to Next. First step is connect our meter. So we're going to click our find meter button. In this case, we're using the C6 HDR2000. Want to make sure we have the correct meter mode selected. If you're using an X-Rite i1 Display Pro, we recommend using the raw XYZ profile unless you've created your own profile with a spectra radiometer. Next step is find source, which is going to be the LG internal patterns. So I've already plugged my thumb drive in with the LG Dolby Vision video file that's one hour long and it's just a dark gray screen. So that's already playing um, on the built-in media player app. So now I'm going to go to find source, select LG, enter the IP address of the TV. And I've connected with a direct Ethernet connection, but you could just connect to a regular Ethernet network or Wi-Fi or some combination of that. You know, your laptop could be on Wi-Fi, the TV could be on wired. As long as they're on the same subnet, they can communicate with each other. So now an eight digit pin code pops up on the screen. 
and it's unique for each session for security reasons. Okay, one important thing is when you're doing the HDR10 or Dolby Vision calibration, we need to click on this LG tab up here and change color space to HDR2020. And we want to use 10% window size patterns. Okay, so everything's configured correct on here. Go to next. This is mainly if you are using an external pattern generator. So we don't need to worry about this because we are using the internal generator. Next step is to connect to our LG TV as a display. So we click right here, select LG. We are calibrating a 2019 Alpha 9 Gen 2 OLED, which is the C9 model. Alpha 9 Gen 2 is the chipset in the TV. If you're if you are uh, calibrating a LG LCD, then you would select the Alpha 7 chipset, unless it's an SM99 model. Uh, also, later in the year, we will be adding the support for the B9 OLED model, which is a different chipset than the other OLEDs. Okay, so we want to enter our IP address again. Hit connect. Okay, now we're connected. Now we want to select our Dolby Vision picture mode. So the cinema, Dolby Vision Cinema is the reference mode. If you calibrate Dolby Vision Cinema Home, it will be the image overall will average brighter. It doesn't get peak, the peak brightness won't be any different, but the average picture level will be brighter. And that's because Cinema Home is intended for daytime viewing with the lights on. So if you want to create calibration for daytime viewing of Dolby Vision content, calibrate that. And for nighttime reference viewing for the most accurate uh, image, in a controlled lighting environment, then you would calibrate the cinema mode. So most people would calibrate both of them, uh, one for day, one for night. So in this particular video, we're just going to do the cinema mode. All of this is selected, and this is set to 2020, so that's correct. And then we're going to hit our full DDC reset button, and that's going to upload a Unity 1D lookup table to the TV. That is preparing the TV for the AutoCal. Okay, after this button is not grayed out anymore, that means the reset is complete. We're going to go to next. So we just want to make sure that this is um, enabled. This information here is if you're using an external generator. Since we're using the internal, we don't have to do this step with the different metadata types. Next step is our AutoCal of our 1D lookup table. Now, if we want the best accuracy possible, then I recommend going up here and going to application measurement options and making sure that this is set to Delta ITP, D-E-I-T-P. It will take a little bit longer to do the grayscale, but I think the, the extra time is worth it and the, the increased accuracy, especially near black, is worth the extra time. So we're going to hit our AutoCal button and then click our drop down and go down to LG 20 points HDR and then hit OK. OK, our grayscale AutoCal of the 1D lookup table is complete. It took a little over 20 minutes. So we're going to go to the next step, which is creating the Dolby Vision configuration file. So we're going to click this button here. 
and we're going to tell it where we want it to save. I'm just going to say on my desktop. So what it's doing is it's ready it's reading red, green, blue and white and black and it's putting all that data the primaries how what the peak brightness of the TV is and what the black level of the TV is into a custom configuration file that is uploaded to the TV and then the Dolby Vision engine in the TV uses that so it knows exactly what this particular panel's uh, performance is so it can do its Dolby Vision uh, color volume mapping based on the exact performance of this specific panel. So I'm going to hit this to now to send it to the TV. So I'm going to go to desktop, select our configuration file that we just created, hit open, and it's been uploaded to the TV. So if we were using an external generator, we would be able to um, validate the results. Since we're using the internal, we cannot do that. So we still need to uncheck this. And like I said in the HDR10 video, if you're using the internal generator, you cannot validate the results, but Tons of people have already compared the internal generator results to the external, including us and LG, and have confirmed that the results are exactly the same uh, when using the internal versus external generator. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.